Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of the second leg of the quarterfinals of this year's Champions League. Boy, there was at least one matchup in there that had me on the edge of the seat all the time. I am wearing PSG. This was the matchup of the round. And surprisingly the other one with the German team I think it was also quite exciting but did not hold as much tension in there um, as the uh, Bayern P uh, PSG matchup. Um, the other ones, um, yeah, were more or less already done after the first leg. Uh, and that's more to say, uh, not more to that I can say it there. Um, what we have left are the rich and the super rich, um, which, yeah, makes for an interesting semi final uh, that from a objective point of view, and I'm not objective in this case, uh, Real Madrid are the good guys, uh, is uh, rather remarkable <laughs> in many in many ways because we have uh, uh, we have two teams left that are uh, very heavily backed by oil money, one by a Russian oligarch. So yeah, and even Real Madrid <laughs> is not that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it's not as clean as one would hope for. So yeah, uh, but it will be an interesting semi-final for sure. Uh, all I, I can say, I am behind PSG in this one. I uh, have been a fan of theirs at least since 94. So uh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, and I'm wearing the one jersey that they won the European Cup Winners' Cup in against Rapid Vienna, which also makes me happy. Oh, well, still makes me happy uh, about that one. Um, but there's another twist to the story that I have to say um, that I figured out yesterday. Look at the club logos. And you can go through it uh, from the round of 16 or already. There's a definite circle power there. The more circular your crest is, the more likely you were, uh, you moved on. It was always the more cir circular team. And you see Chelsea over Porto. Uh, Chelsea has a full circle. Porto has a ball, but there's a little bit up there. PSG against Bayern, two circles against another. The same with the Fodor, Dortmund against City. Liverpool, there's no circle at all, but Real Madrid has a circle with a crown on top of it. Uh, if we go by that logic, Chelsea will make it to the final. And yeah, we'll see who will go in uh, between uh, PSG and City. Oh in any case. Circular power, definitely there. Yeah. But um, let's take off all this crazy stuff and talk about on, on, on the pitch. I want to pick out one player in particular that I've been uh, knocking on for a long time. But I have to say, when he performs well, uh, I'll boy is he a joy to watch, and that's Neymar. Neymar was outstanding in the second leg, absolutely. And uh, that just uh, ahead of it. Let's dive a little bit in, into the games. There's not much say, to, uh, that I can say about Chelsea Porto because I didn't watch. I fully went for PSG Bayern. Uh, I didn't even watch where, where I had to switch around. I saw some highlights from what I could tell. Chelsea was largely controlling the game, had all the more chance, ch chances and routinely saw out, out, out the game. This is the Chelsea that we saw before the international break and um, that just keeps the shop tight. Um, that Porto then went out with probably the goal of the round, if not um, of the Champions League so far, with this wonderful scissor kick by Taremi. Just adds a little spice, but it came way too late in the 93rd, um, and so Porto never really had a chance. And yeah, maybe the the romantic choice in this semi in this quarter quarterfinal is out with that and the 17 year operation does not not continue you know 87 2004 and now 21 that would have worked um for poor porto did not work this time uh unfortunately so many things i can say about psg bayern uh i, I this could be a video in itself um it was not the absolute high drama that we had in Munich where the weather also played a big thing in it but boy was this an entertaining game and it was the in many ways, the complete reverse to the game in, in Munich because this time PSG show, showed up and right from the get go, really put Bayern under, under, under pressure with uh, Mbappé already missing, I think, a big chance in the second minute, uh, holding it wide. Uh, and Bayern really having trouble to contain, especially Mbappé and, and Neymar, who was everywhere. If you see a touch map 
or uh, the heat map of, of, of Neymar. It's, he's all over the field. He was working for the team, all of the, the three stars. I think that the forward line of Mbappé, Neymar and Di Maria is probably my favorite forward line uh, in a long time. If those three work within a team, they are an absolute joy to watch. And boy, did they deliver. Um, I think PSG definitely should should have take, take the lead uh, within the first 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes. But it was especially the sequence around between the 30th and the 40th when Neymar manages to hit the uh, woodwork three times. That must have been a record. Uh, the first one, yes, Neuer saved that. that were where he completely, I mean, if he makes his fades and dribbles like that and does not spend as much time lying on the, on the ground, we will definitely talk about Neymar being, the, at the moment, the third best player, bar none. Uh, probably even, no, third best, we could, top two. Maybe the best player in, player in the world, given his age. Uh, Messi is playing great. I think Ronaldo is a little bit on his, his way down. He's become more of a pure goal, goal scorer. If Neymar continues playing like that in the service of his team and showing his skills because they serve a greater purpose, uh, PSG and Neymar, uh, Neymar would be one of the best players in the world. And uh, he uh, and, and PSG would definitely be considered among the top favorites. Yes, a little bit light on the back, I have, I have to say, but that ad actually added to the drama because Bayern also was not with the full strength. I mean, Goretzka was not playing, who is a huge miss for them. Uh, even Kimmich cannot make that up. And also Gnabry and especially Lewandowski up, uh, up front. Although I think Chupo Moting did what he could do. I mean, it was not on Chupo Moting that um, Bayern got eliminated. Uh, but yeah, having, having a bigger threat uh, in front would, would, would have been better. But back to the three chains. The first one, Neuer helped. The second one, a great piece of skill. Again, he goes through the Bayern defense and picks out the, uh, the spot and wants to pull it in, in the corner and hits the crossbar. It's the third one, where they uh, run a counter-attack where Mbappé plays it across to Neymar, who controls it. And, uh, in falling, he this he needs to put in there. That 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 that's one that need, need, needs to put in. And then just a few minutes later, Triple Boutique scores. And that was maybe the first really good Bayern move in the entire game, where uh, the ball comes to Müller, who, who lets it drop uh, into Alaba, who, who takes a shot. Is saved by Navas, but then. Um, it goes to Chupo Moting, who jumps over um, uh, Kimpembe into the net. A less deserved lead I haven't seen it in a long time, especially when talking about Bayern. However, the commentator says, says that right. Okay, they withdrew now a big sum, a big loan from, from back. Now they have to live up with it. And I think for the remainder of the first half, in those five, five minutes, Bayern egg actually were quite threatening. Could, could have scored a, sec, a second one, but the lead was not really deserved. The second half, at least the first 50 minutes, a similar story with PSG really having more control of, 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 of the game and then probably the scene of Neymar of the entire evening where in midfield he goes through two players who still don't know yet how it's done, how it, it, it came that way, uh, then plays the ball runs through, plays the ball to Mbappé, who picks out Di Maria on the other side, who goes past his uh, defender, cuts it in, and Neymar just misses by a hair. This summed up the entire game in just one scene. You had the brilliance of ne ne Neymar there, how the three up front are working with each other, how the Bayern defense was caught out, and how PSG could not convert. However, then I think the game started to uh, turn a little bit into the sense that PSG realized, okay, we have to defend our lead now. We don't need to go uh, on attack now. Uh, let's hang back. And also let's use every trick in the book to get over the line. Uh, I think they started waste, wasting time as early as the 70th minute in little spaces. Uh, they weren't as clear on the counter attack anymore. And their goal was definitely to break Bayern's rhythm, which the Bayern players were uh, complaining af afterwards and PSG def definitely used the fact that yeah, there was an Italian re re referee who is probably falling for that a little bit. Um, it was not by rolling on the floor. I think that there was only a stoppage time Navas where I really I really thought this was a little bit too excessive. Uh, but it was more, you know, uh, drawing fouls, uh, falling over quickly, all that kind of stuff that broke a little bit Bayern's rhythm. But still Bayern had 
were uh, dangerous enough where I, I really thought they will pull this lucky punch sooner or, or, or later. Uh, I have to say that I, Leroy Sansane was, I think he is so gifted, but he has no end problem. With uh, Neymar, you could make it down a little bit to luck that he, did, that he, he didn't score. Yeah, there was no end product for him as well. But you can see how Leroy Sané is dancing. Every, everything comes easy to him. And then he, he, I always feel he misses a little bit of concentration to get it over the line, uh, especially in Star, in Star Stoppage Time when he was free um, in, the, in, in the box. And he wants to take the long pass across the goal where I think he has to go and try to do it himself. Uh, and there were other situations where I think he, he muffled the shot once. There were chances for Bayern. Uh, nothing really big or that noteworthy, uh, but I always had the feeling that Bayern is now, especially the PSG is hanging back, it is dangerous. Uh, my favorite scene of the other game that was uh, kind of indicative of this last th 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 many minutes where I think it's Navas who runs into Kim Pembe or some, 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 something like that. And uh, Müller is just uh, standing in front of them. And Navas gets the, uh, the foul. It, it was uh, given the foul of, of Müller. Out of the door, <laughs> there was absolutely nothing that he, he did. You could see he was clearly frustrated. PSG go through. I have to say, it has been a long time that I've been so much on the edge of my seat. Yes, I am. I said uh, at, at, at the beginning of the qualifiers, I don't have a team really in there. Uh, but then, yeah, my love for PSG is still there and um, I'm rediscovering and I'm going right, uh, riding that bandwagon. I hope it goes for a long way. So, allez, Paris Saint-Germain in that case. And I was very relieved that they could slay that dragon and now they have to slay an even bigger one. Because Manchester City, at halftime yesterday, I think it would have been my ideal semi-final because you would have um, teams from four different countries um, with, you know, uh, Dortmund making it through, getting the lead uh, in the 15th minute with a wonderful shot by Bellingham that looks even better when you see it in slow motion. That was a great goal. Uh, but from that moment on, it was all City. City, 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 Kevin De Bruyne, he hit in crossbar. They completely outpassed, outplayed Dortmund left and right, who were just clinging on for dear life. And then a very controversial penalty is given in the 55th minute where um, the ball comes into the box and Emre Can tries to head it and goes out with his hand uh, very, very uh, far. And the referee points to the penalty spot. And now... Um, uh, it was con 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 confirmed on German TV uh, through Colinas, the, the heirs of Colina. Colinas Erben is a great tweet, uh, tweet, tweet, tweet account on refereeing choices. Um, they usually get it, get it, get it right and they say, we have the rule now. If you try to head the ball and it goes from a head to the hand, it's not a penalty. And that was exactly what was ha happening. Yes, the touch was very light. And yes, with the arm f so far out, it is hard to see. Uh, but you have VAR. And for that reason, I think this should have been definitely called back. Uh, you might argue, does he need to go out that far? Because if you see the tra trajectory of, of the ball, there were only Dortmund defenders back there. But uh, I still think it was a rather debatable uh, decision. And that killed the game. Mares gets it into the uh, net. I think there was only one this semi decent chance by Hummels. Uh, Phil Foden in the 75th puts the game to bed. And that was that. So, um, done and, and asked it. I have to say, it, Dortmund were definitely not lucky with the refereeing decisions, uh, especially the goal by Bellingham in Manchester, and now this penalty on the balance of play, Manchester City thoroughly deserved going through. Uh, also has to be said very, very clearly. But yeah, Dortmund is a little bit aggrieved of that. And yeah, Liverpool, you can definitely say that uh, their battery is only 70% or, some, or, or something like that. Mohamed Salah, the chance that he got are in the second minute. Uh, if Liverpool is in good form, he makes this chance and then we have a game. Uh, in such, as such, it was that, yeah, maybe for the first 50 minutes, Liverpool really tried. They had their chances, they could not convert it. Then Real Madrid got back into the game. Uh, a Benzema shot got even deflected onto the post. Uh, then there was a rather rough scene by where Kakasimir Ka really took out Milner. Probably should, should have walked for that one. Um, 
but yeah and then later i think there was a one by Gini vinaldo where he you need to bring his own goal at least uh sex i can have same thing Firmino has a chance maybe not not, not as big but again uh if they're in shape this chance doesn't go on the goal goal it goes high up and it, 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 it is a goal but every time the longer the game went on the more comfortable real madrid were they did not have as much possession they didn't have, have as much control but you need to convert your chances otherwise you have against this real madrid team you have no chance and it ends nil nil um I think Real Madrid was not breaking too much sweat there, despite Liverpool creating chances, but just not being able to convert them. And so we have a semi-final lineup uh, of uh, PSG against Man City and Real Madrid, Chelsea. And as of the time of shooting this video, I do not know when these games will be uh, played exactly. I know that the dates for the first game are the Tuesday 27th of April and Wednesday 28th of April, but I don't know which one goes where yet. However, with this semifinals, we will of course be interested to see what are the chances now of winning it. Man City, 40% and huge favorites over uh, PSG in this case uh, to go to the uh, final. So uh, it's uh, almost uh, two thirds Man City uh, over PSG and PSG is the lowest rate rated rate team in there. Real Madrid Chelsea is much more balanced, but I'm also like the model leaning a little bit more Real Madrid because it's Real Madrid. You could see this uh, through the uh, throughout the entire Champions uh, League no, no, no stage so so far. It is Real Madrid. Real Madrid will. Uh, it's not spectacular, but they make it. They go through. They can concentrate and uh, just reflect on the week that Real Madrid had. They played Liverpool. They played Barcelona. They played Li Li Liverpool. They won two, and drew one. And that with a makeshift squad because uh, the lineup that Real Madrid, especially on the back, had that this was not more exploited is again down to uh, a the great midfield that they have, but also the match plan that Zidane found for his team. So yeah, gotta say it is pretty uh, remarkable, and I would say Real Madrid. Will be the one team that will make it to a final. The other one, although Manchester City is so have, have heavily favored, I think it could be a toss up because I can see how PSG can hurt Man City. I can also see how Man City just takes the ball away from PSG. And that's gonna be exciting. In any case, let me know what you thought about the semifinals. I have to say, the PSG Bayern, this was Champions League at its very, very, very best. I want to see more of that, and I hope that we'll get it with the PSG Man City mad matchup. I have not some high hopes for Real Madrid against Chelsea. Uh, so, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!